Thanks, Nikki. Well, the winter sports are now all finished. The women's basketball team fell to Washington State Sunday afternoon, 74 to 66. It was definitely an emotional ending for the ladies. Zach Lohman has more. The Hawkeyes played some scrappy basketball, but weren't able to pull away with the win Sunday afternoon as they fell to the Washington State Cougars, 74 to 66. One Hawkeye that shined during the loss was sophomore Megan Gustafson. Gustafson scored 19 points and recorded a total of 15 rebounds. While the game didn't end in the way she wanted it to, she's very thankful to have played alongside a great senior class. Yeah, it's tough. They're pretty amazing people. Um, being able to be with them on the court on and off. We're sorry to see them go, but they should go out of here holding their heads high. They had great careers. Um, they are tremendous women uh, as well as just basketball players. Uh, so they have nothing to be ashamed about. Uh, they really tried to lead our team this year, and all of them did a great job with that. While head coach Lisa Bluter was proud of her seniors for an outstanding year, she was focused on heading into the offseason to work on taking the team's game to the next level. You know, we'll sit down as a coaching staff um, and really identify every player, a development plan for every player, and start working on those. Give them about a week or two off, and then we'll start doing that in April with them. After the game, head coach Lisa Bluter talked about how the team needs to work on three-point shooting and offensive rebounding as they head into the offseason. Reporting from Carver Hawkeye Arena, this has been Zachary Lohman with Daily Iowan TV Sports. Even though the Hawks will lose some valuable seniors, they have a talented young roster that shows promise for next season. This weekend, the Iowa baseball team played through some very wet weather conditions up in conference play. Lucy Rodine has more. Iowa baseball opened up Big Ten play against Purdue this weekend with each of the three games being decided in the eighth inning. The Hawks began the series against the Boilermakers on Friday where weather played a major factor. Before the eighth, they caught a one-hour rain delay and when play resumed, Purdue scored two runs to take the first game of the series 2-0. to zero. That loss on Friday was kind of kind of a tough one. You know, we wanted to come out in front of the home crowd, uh, big uh, first Big Ten game, you know, and get the win, and we didn't. Despite their rough start on Friday, Iowa bounced back in the second game of the series. On the mound, Iowa was led by pitchers Ryan Erickson and Zach Daniels, who allowed only eight hits this game, one of which led to the first run of the game by Purdue in the fifth. Iowa responded in the sixth with an RBI from Jake Adams, tying up the game. In the eighth, Iowa took control, scoring four runs, giving the Hawks a 5-1 to one victory. It was a major adjustment more from an attitude or, or, or a confidence standpoint than it was from a baseball standpoint. And, and you know, we try to focus really hard on controlling ourselves and, and not, not changing based on the situation of the game or the team we're playing. We just control what we can control and we play as hard as we can and as smart as we can. The Hawks continued their trend of resiliency in the series finale. Iowa started off strong with a run by Mason McCoy in the first and one by Chris Whelan in the third. However, the Boilermakers would not go down without a fight. Purdue scored a run in the third and another in the fifth, but in the eighth inning, it was all Iowa. The Hawks scored five runs to win the game 7-2 to two and take the series 2-1. to one. Series, I learned that this team's really resilient. No matter, no matter what situation we're in, we, we know we've always got a plan. We stick to our plan and uh, however that goes, we'll win or lose with our plan. I will be back in action this Wednesday against Grandview College. Reporting from outside Dwayne Banksfield, this has been Lucy Rodine for Daily Iowan TV Sports. Iowa now leads the overall series against Purdue 98 to 68 and sits at 13 and 9 so far this season. The Iowa rowing team competed at the Longhorn Invite this weekend in Texas. They got second to number 8 Texas and they beat number 14 Duke. As for other Hawkeye sports, it was kind of a rough weekend. The softball team lost to Illinois in all three games in the series on Friday, 0-8 and 2-5 and 4-7 on Sunday. The team now sits at 6-20, but hopes to turn this streak around as they hit the road this coming weekend to take on Purdue. The men's gymnastics team also came up short this weekend, falling to Penn State by about six points on Saturday afternoon. They are now off for two weeks before competing in the Big Ten Championships April 7th and 8th. The men's tennis team lost to Minnesota 2-5 for their seventh loss of the season. But the women's tennis team had a successful weekend beating Wisconsin 6-1 Friday night and Minnesota 4-2 on Sunday. Both teams will be back at home this coming weekend. And today is pro day for the Iowa football at the, fo at the Iowa football complex. Excuse me. So make sure to tune in tomorrow for updates on that. And we will also have a feature on one important player that made a big impact on women's basketball this season. Nikki, back to you.